Hi guys, this is Mr. Reedner. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to access your Parchment account. There is a separate video that will show you how to utilize this account and specifically how to order your transcripts. Today, we're just going to work on how to actually find and access this account. So from your start screen, you can do two things. You can either search for Shenandoah High School here, or you can type in shenandoah.k12.in.us and navigate directly to our website. Now, I've been told by several students that the um, link that is saved in your browser on your student devices is not accurate. So I've been told the students use that. It, the link doesn't work. So you need to either go through Google or, or type in directly shenandoah.k12.in.us. From here, this will take you directly to the corporation web page. From here, you'll need to select from the schools list, Shando High School. Once you're there at Shando High School, you will select from menu, student links and resources. And from that, the student links and resource menu, you'll need to click on the plus sign. If you click directly on this, the word student links and resources, it'll take you to a blank page. So you don't want to do that. You want to actually select the plus sign next to it and from there you can select parchment now if you've not yet created an account you would select new learner account if you've already created an account then you would simply click sign in now if you want to you can also navigate directly to the parchment website and you can also sign in uh, if you do that, make sure you sign in under Learners and Parents. This link has been customized to take some of that to kind of simplify it for you. Uh, and you'll put in your email address and your password. Remember, I don't have access to your password. So if you forget it, you will need to use the forgot password link. It's something you'll need to keep track of. Also, as I've told students before, if you create an account under your school email, uh, at the end of the year, you might want to go into your account and change the email address listed so you can continue to access this account following graduation if you're a senior that's graduated. All right, guys, um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to email me. And again, look for the other video that explains how to use your parchment account. Have a great day.